is what they call full sheet down, right? I like it. What's up, y'all? It's been a minute. Um, I, I bought a thing. Uh, I decided to go and buy my first plate carrier, and I pretty much scoured the internet to figure out what was the best price to not ship. And this came back a lot. This is the Shellback Tactical Rampage 2.0. It's not new. There's a 3.0 that looks a lot different, but for some reason, a lot of people still keep going to this one. And I'm not entirely sure why yet. This will be my first plate carrier, and I have no idea what the fuck. Liking or hating about it, so we'll figure that out. But uh, this is just pretty much a brand new open box review. Uh, if I'm wrong about something, totally correct me, because I'm gonna get a lot of shit wrong on this. Alright, to start off, this is the box that it came in. That's it sitting over there. In the box, you get... Explosives. That didn't work out too well. Throw that out of there, and you get a little import-export restrictions card. You all, I also got a uh, discount card for anything else on their website, but if I put that on here, one of you motherfuckers will probably try and steal it. So let's just put that away, and eat. Alright, coming back over to this. So this is what it looks like straight out of the box. There's no... I didn't change anything, I just took the tag off and uh, threw that in the trash, because why not? It just says Shellback with their logo. That's pretty much it for that. Alright, so for starters, I'm assuming these are pretty much a one size deal for every single plate carrier out there, but I have seen some come in large, some come in small. I myself am 5'8 and about 170 pounds. Keep that in mind. I'm going to kind of show what it looks like on me in a little bit. But, start off, got a patch set here. Eh, comes with a shell back tactical uh, little, little patch. You can either put it on uh, your shirt, your backpack, or. Leave it right on there. Make it look good. On the front here, you got a laser cut moly placard. So, you can undo that. Pull the bottom. Each side tells you where these end. And it just comes right off. This is getting difficult to hold because there are no plates in this. It did not come with them, and that's going to be part of uh, another few things. But the cummerbund is Velcro. You can get the option to get clips for either one side or both sides, but the Velcro is strong enough. Oh my god. You can just pull it right off. Flip that back. Now, this whole, the cummerbund goes all the way through this and if I want to I could just hold it right here and pull the whole thing out and not even use it and from here we can see the access panel for the plates it is also velcro and very strong holy Christ obviously slide her up in there tuck that underneath as far as you can and slap her down and you're good to go you know, that probably would have made it easier to undo. It's okay. I'm still an idiot. All right, let's go ahead and flip it over. On the back, you essentially get the same thing, except it's not this dirty. It's because my table is all dirty. On the bottom here, you get the same thing you do on the front. Fucking rip that bitch open. There we go. Same thing. Made in China. Well, that does not make me too happy. These guys are said to be made in the USA. Oh well. They're still a reputable brand. Nice. Also on the back here, you do have a carry handle that comes with Velcro so it doesn't get caught on anything. And you can slap it back there. You also got a whole pad here to put patches, uh, more pockets, uh, bladders, milk jugs, uh, a sign that says fuck you, you know, anything you want. All right, one of the better features is the fucking shoulder pads. So there's like four or five different things on here. Starters, take this one off. This one helps you route any cables or tubes. You can just put it all into here. This is also where the pads are attached onto. You can take these completely off which we'll do right now. 
Gotta show everything. Somebody yelled at me for not going outside with a light on a gun in an apartment. But you can go ahead and pull that completely apart. It comes apart. You can buy uh, completely different pads, obviously. These ones are, they kind of feel like something out of a backpack. I think they probably won't be bad. You don't want them too, too firm or too big, otherwise it gets fucking annoying. All right, let's see if I can put this back to where I had it for where it would fit me. Set that on. That should go about there. Nope. It's okay. You're gonna you're gonna suffer with me. I don't give a shit. But yeah, there we go. Put that back together. You would be running all your wiring, your tubes, whatever you have it. Put it on there. And for some reason, we'll do this. Not for some reason. I'm an idiot. You can also run the wirings in these. Although I would have a different idea. Probably a light. Shoulder mounted light. Depending on how I wanted to actually set this up. So the only feature it comes with for any type of storage. Without having to buy anything else. Are side pockets for AR mags and some pistol mags. It does fit a 5.56 mag. With these weird... I fucking hate these things. I hear terrible... Things all the time about those, but I understand why they exist. You can still you can still fit it in there. I myself, I'm going to want something on the front here just because being a smaller person, I have a short torso. Or I have a short upper body compared to my arms. And this is just awkward. There you have it. That's all the features of the Shellback Rampage 2.0. Now let's see how it looks on a moron. All right, so... I'm just going to go ahead and try and put it on normally, without any rush, just to kind of give you a time lapse and how it looks on me. I'm not the fastest in the world, so just give me a damn minute. And that's pretty much all set up. Aside from the fact I didn't really go ahead and adjust this to my body size but for reference I am five foot eight or five foot seven and a half whichever you want to fucking put it and 170 pounds I'm not necessarily on the thin side but I'm not fucking huge either I would recommend some kind of padding under this one having the mag there does kind of dig into my ribs but like I said, after some adjustment, getting this moved around to how it should be, that should be pretty good. It ain't bad. That feels okay. All right. So I don't have a sight on this at the moment. Uh, it broke. But with the power of editing, I'm gonna show you the ease to put <laughs> to take a fucking mag out of the side pocket. So. I broke my nail. Anyway. Ready? The fucking power of editing. There we go. That was pretty much painless. Honestly, I don't... That, that wasn't bad at all. I'd still prefer something on the front. You definitely got modul... Modulabilable. I know what I'm trying to say. Ah. Oh, oh, that ripped right into the cuticle. Fuck, that hurt. I'll take it off. Pull on these two tabs. Now, these right here are supposed to be able to allow you to rip these off with ease. Probably when it's on your body, not when it's not. And right there, that's kind of a problem. Even though a plate will be in there, I still think it'll end up doing this. But you can just take one off and do that. So it's not too bad. All right. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Shellback Tactical Rampage 2.0. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a first-time user, first-time buyer, plate carrier, thingy, do the do the shooty shoot protection. Yeah. If you like that, uh, go ahead and subscribe, and you can see me uh, make make fun of myself a lot more often. Uh, they're gonna be. This is gonna pick right back up to where it was because the weather over here is getting much better at the moment it's like 47 degrees outside and it's 
and 10 o'clock at night, which is perfect. So we'll get shooting a lot more. I do have a video coming up on that. So that's going to be nice. As soon as I can get to the fucking range and shoot it though. We've kind of been holding off. The weather is just now getting nicer. And I'm also getting over being sick. If this helped you decide on whether or not you wanted this one, and I gave you a decent little review and a first look on it to kind of answer any questions, leave a like at the bottom. And uh, I'll see you in that video. Bye-bye.